Hello, thank you for joining us. Recovering from the big snow job, many schools are still closed, roads are still impassable, transit still sketchy, but the power's coming back. And with it, a reassessment after all the money and might put into shoring up the shore. Just how equipped is the state to handle states of emergency? Brenda Flanagan has our first report. It was a bad nor'easter and it took our dunes away. Resident Pat DeFalco says protective storm dunes did their job, but just barely. Only a thin escarpment of sand with a 10-foot drop remained standing after Saturday's storm battered the beachfront. Waves ripped away the boardwalk steps. They're vulnerable in Ortley Beach. You could see right under the boardwalk over here. Uh -huh. Okay, you can actually see right through. So it's a uh, that all used to be full of sand? That should be all full of sand. Last week we spent three days with our bulldozers pushing sand up onto the dunes to reinforce the existing dunes. Right. And uh, that's all gone. You have to understand it's a stopgap temporary measure though because the next time it happens we'll lose the sand again. DEP's coastal engineering is up and down the entire coast assessing. Army Corps is also assessing the entire coastline to, to see what we need. New Jersey's DEP commissioner and Lieutenant Governor Guadano toured the Jersey shore today, noted widespread erosion from Ortley and Toms River down into North Wildwood, a legacy of deeper damage done by Sandy. This stretch of Northern Ocean County since Sandy, you know, has, is in a sand deficiency and we need the federal project for the long term solution. This is just, a, you know, stopgap measures to to provide what we can until the federal project comes through. As two towns and several property owners continue fighting the Army Corps' plans for a more permanent dune barrier, DEP Commissioner Bob Martin's looking to work around the holdouts. Our goal is to start this year on some segment of Northern Ocean County. Maybe we can't get all the towns going that, given the lawsuits we have going on currently with, with Point Pleasant Beach and Bayhead, but there's a lot of properties we do have, and so we, we plan to sit down the next couple of weeks to talk about a potential plan to be able to start initially on that. We do need to start right away, and we can't wait for the outcome of any litigation, no matter who wins or loses. Meanwhile, Tom's River borrowed a million dollars from the DEP to buy sand last year. The mayor says they've spent about half of that already, and it's not even February. I just can't believe this. This is just unbelievable. So I hope that maybe they will actually do something permanent this time. Mayor Kelleher says the town is working quickly to dump more sand and build more dunes, another temporary barrier against the next storm. In Ortley Beach, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News. Some residents of Cape May County were swamped with tides 10 feet high that left garages and ground floors underwater. So when they heard Governor Christie head back to New Hampshire, declaring the shore sustained only, quote, minor to moderate flooding, their reactions ranged from confused to incredulous. Brianna Venosi was in Ocean City. It came up to here. Yeah. It came up. As you can see, it's all washed out here. The water surged through the streets of Ocean City right up to front doors. At one point, all access roads on and off the island were completely shut because the streets were submerged. I kept hearing the news say it's not that bad, but they couldn't get, he kept showing 9th Street and that it was closed off. He couldn't get down here. So, I mean, every time they said, oh, it's not that bad, I'm kind of like, I'm cursing on the television. Longtime resident Honey Waters took these pictures from her front window during the height of the storm, all the while fearing she'd need to be rescued if officials called for an evacuation. Is this the worst flooding you've seen since Sandy? Yes. I, it was worse than Sandy. I don't even know what critics you're talking about. There is no residual damage. There is no residual flooding damage. All the flooding receded yesterday morning, um, and there was no other damage. People were driving around the streets yesterday morning of New Jersey. That was Governor Christie on MSNBC this morning. Shore residents say they're frustrated. The governor downplayed the severity of their situation. It's flooded here. We can't go. I can't get out of my front. I can't get out of my back. I was stuck and no one told us to leave and no one told me not to be here. I left at Sandy. I left. I packed everything up and bolted everything down. And anytime they say leave, I get out. No one told me to get out. Does it make you think about moving? Yes, it did. And that's exactly what the, our family was talking about yesterday. 
It was all hands on deck for Chris Derrickson's family. They began ripping.